Recently, our firm handled a fire loss in Fisher Island, New York. For those who don't know about where Fisher Island is, it's in New York and it's in Suffolk County. When I initially got referred to this loss, first thing I did was Google, where is Fisher Island? Sure enough, I didn't discover that in order to get to Fisher Island, I would have to drive to New London, Connecticut, and from New London, Connecticut, put my car onto a ferry to Fisher Island, and then from there, get off the ferry, and then drive to my client's property, which I had to stop at a security checkpoint, pay a fee, and then drive to the house, which happens to be surrounded by the water. Uh, from there, we then assessed the damages, and we discovered that the fire damages were pretty extensive, but at the same time, what we really realized is that whoever does this construction is gonna charge our client a lot of money based on logistics. Now, what logistical issues could you possibly have in an island? As I was on the ferry, I watched them load the ferry with dumpsters, mail, food, uh, uh, day laborers from the various construction crews, and countless other necessities that an island would need. All those things that I was watching being loaded onto the ferry costs money. And whoever the contractor is, is going to charge a premium to work on an island. And so when we prepared our estimate for those building damages, we made sure that we informed the insurance company of those logistics that would quickly increase the cost of doing this job. The ferry leaves at early, uh, the first ferry, I believe it leaves at six in the morning and the next ferry leaving at the other night, I believe it's around three o'clock. So you can imagine that whoever the contractor is, their workers, their materials have to be in the first ferry in the morning. And from there, they have to cut out, let's say around two-ish, to make sure they get to the ferry on time to get back to their homes or their offices and start that process all over again, five days a week. You know, you can imagine these short days, plus the workers have to take lunch. With that claim, uh, we formed the insurance company logistics. We took one of their estimators that was assigned to the loss onto the ferry. We went to the property, and as I was on the ferry, sitting next to the insurance company representative, I was going over the logistics, saying, do you see this, do you see that? It was to get him uh, familiar with what it takes to really do this construction job and what our client would have to experience. From there, we went to the house. He understood that anybody showing up to this building was going to charge the correct amount of money to do this job. This was a high-end home. This was on an island. I mean, you couldn't ask for uh, a better uh, scenario where things were gonna cost a lot more money. From there, the insurance company adjuster and I came to uh, an agreed scope and price, uh, which was then approved by our client. And from there, we had a uh, settlement in place and our client was extremely satisfied with our services. This was a secondary home for them. And from there, everybody walked away knowing that we did the right thing by the policyholder. Our client was happy. And from there, since that loss, actually, that same client of ours has referred us to many other losses, knowing that we took the time to pay attention to the details, the costs, and make sure that everything went smooth throughout the entire claim process.